Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us quickly have a look at the entire decomposition cycle. So what happens in the decomposition cycle? So here you can actually see a lot of criss and cross. So let's quickly have a look at it. So here you can see, the, let us start from this step. So we will mark it as numbers so, the sequ in, in the, so that we can understand the exact sequence. So let us suppose this is number one where we see that a plant grows on the soil. Now in order for this plant to grow it needs nutrients, water, minerals, everything and it gets all of these from the soil. So the soil provides everything that is required for this plant's growth. Now the plant grows, it becomes a huge tree and then finally a time comes when this plant dies as well. So the leaves starts falling to the ground and it's like an end time for this plant. So what happens when one of these leaves, they start falling on the ground, what will happen? Ground means basically over the soil, on the surface of the soil. Now some of these leaves might be eaten up by insects or birds and thus they enter into the food web. So that is one thing that might happen. So as you can see here, some of the leaves which are falling on the ground that could have been eaten by insects or some other animals and that's how they have entered into food web. So that is this one. So here we can see that eaten by insects or birds and that's how they entered into the food web. However, some of the leaves might not be eaten by any other animal and they just remain there on the soil. So what will happen to those leaves? So those leaves will then be acted upon by the first step. Remember the first step of decomposition? Fragmentation. So the leftover leaves will undergo fragmentation. That is, the detritivores like earthworm will break it down into smaller particles. And then what will happen? Fragmentation will be followed by leaching where the water soluble contents or the water soluble nutrients will dissolve and will get deep down into the soil horizon. And then this and then the, whatever remains that will be acted upon by the decomposers. So here you have the decomposers and then these decomposers will actually act on the particular uh, material which is being left out and then finally what will happen this leaf will get deep inside the soil and inside the soil humification will take place in humification what will happen humus formation will take place and then this will be followed by mineralization where minerals will be formed and these minerals will again enrich the soil quality so the soil quality will be enriched so the soil quality will be enriched or improved and this in turn will again help in the growth of plants. So this is like a cycle and this cycle is known as decomposition cycle. So here what do we see? When the plants die or when the leaves fall off, they are either eaten by insects or birds and that's how they enter into the food web or they undergo fragmentation, leaching and uh, catabolism under the action of the decomposers and the detritivores. So in this exact, in, in this part takes place fragmentation followed by leaching which in turn is followed by catabolism and then this is finally followed by mineralization and humification. And which organism helps in this? Detritivores like earthworms, they play an important role in fragmentation. And then decomposes, decomposers like bacteria and fungi, they play an important role in the process of catabolism, humification and mineralization. So this is how decomposition takes place and this is all about the decomposition cycle. I think with this, we have covered two important aspects of our ecosystem. One is productivity and the second is decomposition. Now they were very important because productivity will tell us what is being produced because all living organisms are dependent on that production. Decomposition tells us what happens when the living organisms die. 
So that is again important. Otherwise, the earth will get piled up with all the dead bodies. So these two parts are clear now. So now we will go get into the third aspect of ecosystem. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.